research looking at history mathematically, there's nothing serious going to happen on a worldwide cataclysm scale in the next 18 years. Nothing. What we, what we might have, and what I'm banking on having, is having some isolated incidents of great destruction, but they're going to be highly localized. Not like 9-11 was highly localized. Man, terrible tragedy. 2,000-something people died, whatever. Terrible tragedy. But it was very, very localized. Because if you were looking at a map of the United States, all that destruction happened at one little single pinpoint way over in New York. Same thing as the Oklahoma City, City bombing. Same thing as what happens every single year when a typhoon hits Bangladesh. When a typhoon hits Bangladesh, 10,000 people, 275,000 people wiped off the map. They don't care. They clean up the mess, keep on going, and it happens again the next year. So, I don't buy into the hype. I don't buy into all, all this. Facebook, Facebook is rife. With all those predicting, everything that's about to happen, all this crap, I'm just not trying to hear it. Uh, people, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I just see, I, I, reality to me is just so, it's so fundamentally different. If I can't see it isometrically, it's just not going to happen. Simple as that. Just like, just like last year, I, I was telling everybody last year, and it's so hard to, to even refer back to it because it really has no relevance today. Like in Texas, the COVID deal is dead. Nobody talks about it. Nobody wears masks. Nobody does. But last year, it was everywhere. It shut shit down. People were dying. And everybody, all the messages, all across Facebook, all the emails I got, comments in my, in my videos, everybody wants to talk about, oh, no, no, this is Agenda 2030. This is going to go on for, this is the new norm. Remember, everybody said it was the new norm. Again, I'm the only one producing videos talking about in the first quarter of 2022, it's going to collapse. The whole narrative is going to die, and they're going to move on to the next paradigm. But nobody believed me. I got so many negative comments about saying that. Talking about, man, you're delusional. You don't know what you're talking about. He said, this is the new normal. This is it, man. This is how they're. This is how the, the new world order is going to start. This is how they're going to take over. This Nothing. Nothing. So, you know, I just can't. I just can't. I can't entertain, I cannot entertain all that stuff. If I can't see it in date sequence prediction, if I can't see it using my office algorithm, and if I cannot see it using isometric analysis, it's not going to happen. I've already told you the next big thing is going to be a false apocalypse. I don't see anything big. Now, when I say big, I'm talking about worldwide catal cataclysms because I do predict a nuclear event this year. I said that last year. I am predicting that. I'm also predicting this year Israel will be at war. I don't know. I don't know the details, but I'm predicting that based off what I've seen. I've, several Middle Middle Eastern nations will be at war. I do predict some type of major false flag event is going to occur this year that is going to set a lot of events in motion. But I said that last year. That's in many of my videos. I'm about to I'm about to do a new playlist because many of you are unfamiliar. You just you guys just call them my Trump videos. Because Trump was the focus, I showed how Trump's life from his grandfather and his father and all the elements of Trump's life led to his presidency. I show whole flow charts forward and backward in time when he was on Oprah, when he was doing different, when he talked to Nancy Pelosi with, with Clinton and everything that happened from 1998 and then all the way to him becoming president. I showed this palindromic nature. No one can contend that. I have fully documented the palindromic history of Donald J. Trump and him becoming president. I showed all that. And then based off that, following through on that, I also showed how Donald J. Trump was going to continue a political career in America, unlike other presidents who were no longer in office. Other presidents who were no longer in office retired. They're done. Not President Trump. He's been rallying ever since. Yeah, they shut down my whole my whole area behind one of his rallies. Air security everywhere. So, anyway, uh, long story short, I don't buy into I don't buy into all the narratives. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be a nuclear incident. Yeah, there's going to be a false flag incident. But these things barely affect 0.01 percent of the entire population of the world. That's not a cataclysm. Phoenix is going to kill 25% of the entire world's population, and 6.5 years later, Nemesis X object is going to kill 50% of that. 
mathematically, if you take 100% and reduce it by, by 25%, you're left with 75%. If you take that 75% and reduce that by 50%, then that means at the end of that 6.5 year period, 30% 30, 30 of the world's population is killed, dead. So, it's, uh, that's it's proof. Or, or is left alive, excuse me, left alive. The war, Nemesis X object is far worse than Phoenix. It's far worse. I, I don't even really talk about it much. It, all the changes are going to come in the world. But then again, I'm, I don't want to fear monger. I don't want to give you elaborate paintings and pictures and stuff. Why? If you're an immortal being, there's absolutely nothing to fear about the future. There's nothing to fear about the elite. There's nothing to fear about the here and now. If you're truly an immortal, then you are supposed to be looking at your life as if you are a conscious observer on a stage. 